Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and in this video I am going to solve this particular question which is from Jam 2014. Okay, now uh, if you uh, look at the question paper nowadays the Jam question is quite easy but if you look at the co previous question papers for example 2014 paper and the papers uh, before that you will see the question paper is quite difficult right so uh, previously the question standard of jam exam used to be quite difficult but nowadays it is easy and this particular question i i consider is quite difficult and uh, actually in the jam syllabus if you look at the jam syllabus the pericyclic reaction whether it is included in the syllabus or not that is uh, not uh, mentioned clearly right only deals all the reaction is given but this particular question is from pericyclic reaction and it requires a quite clear concept about the pericyclic reaction in order to solve it right so uh, i don't say I, I cannot say whether this question will come in the jam exam uh, 2019 or not but this question is important with respect to jam gate and csi and net exam also okay so let me solve this question and one thing i should make clear is that uh, at the time of the jam exam of mine that is when when i appeared the jam exam i couldn't solve this question uh, means uh, when i was solving the previous year problems i couldn't uh, able to find out the solution right but now uh, I came up with a solution and I will discuss this with you and uh, I will try to solve this question with logically but I didn't uh, verify this solution with any from any book so uh, if you have any objection any suggestion uh, feel free to write down in the comment section so let's start okay so you can see this compound is heated at 200 degrees centigrade and these are the options given what will be the product so first thing uh, you should identify that it is a pericyclic reaction because no such functional group is given there are no such reagent is given only heat is given and this is the compound so uh, one thing you should uh, guess is that this is a pericyclic reaction now if you look at the compound and it is a thermal pericyclic reaction so if you look at the compound the one and only reaction one and only pericyclic reaction which should come to your mind that should be most feasible is the electrocyclic ring opening and it is a six electron electrocyclic ring opening and that will give you this product okay so here you have phenyl here you have n ph like this so this should be the first step of the reaction which will give you this product now uh, whether it is corn rotatory and or this rotatory you shouldn't really have to care about that because no stereochemistry no special stereochemistry is mentioned here so this is one relief for you but uh, let me tell you that in the heating condition if it is six electron electrocyclic ring opening it is a dis rotatory right so you should know it for the information that it is a dis rotatory ring opening now if you look at this so it can go back again by electrocyclic ring closing reaction to give you this so this reaction is basically reversible reaction but if you look at this particular product carefully you can uh, find out another reaction so pause this video for a few seconds and think about what reaction you can think okay so now you can see if you number it it is one two three four five six seven here you have one hydrogen so in heating condition there is a possibility of one seven hydride shift okay so this hydride can go here so this is a one seven hydride shift now one seven means it is a four n system one seven means basically eight electron so it is n equal to two it is a four n electron system and many so there is a confusion among the people that four n electron system or 4n sigma tropic shift is not allowed in thermal condition but the statement is wrong it is it is not like that it is not allowed okay so every uh, sigma tropic shift whether it may be 4n electron system or 4n plus 2 electron system it is allowed in every condition whether it may be thermal or photochemical i am again saying that 
any sigma tropic shift whether it whether it may be 4 n plus 2 or 4 n it is allowed in every condition whether it is photochemical or thermal what is the difference the difference is the mode uh, the mode uh, which is followed okay whether it may be suprafacial or interfacial for example if it is 4n electron system and it is a thermal sigma tropic shift then it should be interfacial uh, whereas if it was a 4n plus 2 system for example if it was a 1 5 sigma tropic shift then it is 4n plus 2 system that is 6 electron system and in thermal condition it would be suprafacial so in this case uh, in thermal condition 1 7 shift should be interfacial now if it were 1 3 sigma tropic shift again it was a 4 electron system but in case of 1 3 shift uh, the sigma tropic shift in case of thermal reaction is not possible but in case of 1 7 it is possible why because in case of 1 3 shift if you consider a 1 3 case this is a 1 3 case and if this hydrogen has to shift in a interfacial way this is a very compact system one three shift is a very compact and small system so here the flexibility is not there that's why this is not possible it is not like that it is not allowed it is allowed but the geometry will not permit so it is not possible but in case of one seven system it is a large system and it is a flexible system so the geometry will permit the reaction and uh, that's why this 1 7 shift in thermal condition is a possible reaction so this reaction is possible and it will give you this product so the double bond will shift here pH and here you have another double bond here you have nitrogen here you have one double bond here you have phenyl okay so after 1 7 shift you will get this okay so for solving this question you should know that 1 7 shift in thermal condition is possible 1 3 shift is not possible but it is allowed and 1 5 shift is possible and it is very easy so uh, if you want to know more about it you can read clearin very nicely mentioned there okay now the next reaction should be the again electrocyclic ring closing and it is a six electron electrocyclic ring closing that is uh, it should be this rotatory but again you don't have to care about that because in the product no stereochemistry is mentioned so you will get this ph here here you have methyl and here you have ph so you can see option a so this is the correct answer this will be your product now this question uh if you don't know this details you cannot solve this question so uh, if you consider jam standard this is a quite difficult and it is a hard problem for jam standard but in gate or net exam this question may come so i hope uh, you understand the problem and thank you for watching if you are new in this channel subscribe my channel for getting more videos like that that's all